Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to episode 8 of my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire HD Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. My name is Mike from Poketips, and today is going to be an extra fun episode because we're playing with randomized texts. So people are going to be saying all sorts of crazy things like Wally over here saying check. Ralt and I have gotten a lot stronger since we first met, growing together. I heard that an egg was found when two Pokemon were left at the daycare. That's great. I'm envious. Wish I could lay an egg? Alright, it looks like, uh, Wally wants to lay an egg. I know what must be done, apparently. Thank you, Pokédips. Okay, here we go. Do you remember how light came falling out of the sky a while ago? I found this in the yard that day. Actually, I found two when I gave the other to Wally. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Isn't he Wally? Isn't that Wally? Are there two Wallys? Maybe, maybe there are. Maybe one's the crazy Wally that wants to lay an egg, and maybe there's a normal Wally that is just, you know, normal and has rolls. Oh, look at Quill coming out of his ball. So epic fighting this Pancham. It's so bad that we have to do this to Pancham because I love Pancham. I want a Pancham. Oh, he's living. Watch. I bet he has like one HP. There's no way for me to check, but. Oh my gosh, it has to be at 1 HP, because it looks like it just has a little sliver of health there. Wish we could have got the one shot, but whatever. I guess we'll go for Flame Charge now and get the little speed boost. Wally is a team of six Pokemon, so we definitely want to outspeed whatever Wally is sending in next. And nice, Quill is getting to level 19 off this battle. Gonna be very, very helpful in this whole thing. Ooh, but Gigalith, the big rock monster. I don't really think that Quill is going to be too great against this thing. Let's bring out old Peppy Pepper. Pepper should be great against this thing. We have Brick Break, and we should resist the rock moves if it wants to go for one. Ooh, and Head Smash. Now that's gonna hurt. Whoa, actually, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Yeah, I knew that was gonna hurt, because, like, what, this thing has, like, what, 120, 150 base power? I think this is, like, Rampardos' signature move. But even then, I thought we were gonna do a, it was gonna do a little bit mess, less, I can't speak because we resist it, but I guess not. And ooh, Barry, please don't raise this attack. Please don't raise the attack. No, it's just restoring health, the wiki berry. Wikipedia gets its own berry, apparently. Ooh, all right, I think it might die from all the recoil it's gonna take from my rough skin and then the head smash, nice. Good job, Pepper. Good job doing all that recoil damage to it. I love having rough skin as the ability. Rough skin has like been low key so good in this run. Pepper is an amazing Pokemon, and Zoelius! Now that would be something we could normally take care of, however, I don't want to play around with it, considering how low our health is right now. So you know what? Let's bring Quill back out again. We could also bring in Hawkeye, but Hawkeye is so high leveled right now. We need to give some of the other guys a little bit of a chance. Oh wait, no, did you predict that switch? Please don't do too much. Ooh. I don't know how much I'm liking that. So we have Milk Drink, that'll heal up our health a little bit. I think I'm gonna do that instead of using an item or switching out again, because I really think Quill can deal with this thing. We just need some more health back so I feel comfortable taking this super effective Thunder Punch. Yeah, good. I was worried it was gonna paralyze me there, because that would kind of suck. Oh wait, it's faster than me? Oh wait, no, Snatch, what does that do? I don't know what Snatch does. All right, so I look it up, and basically, Snatch will steal the effect of any healing move that I use. So if I went for Milk Drink right there, if it used Snatch, it would have actually healed itself up, and I would have just, you know, kind of sat here awkwardly, and nothing would have happened. Which would have kind of sucked, so I'm glad that I went for a damaging move there, and here, too. It keeps trying to steal my Milk Drink, but I have no reason to do that right now, because I want you dead. You have a super effective move against me, I don't want to play around with that at all. Nice job, Quill. Quill's getting a level 20 off this fight, too. This is why all my Pokemon are so high-leveled, and all the trainers have, like, such low-level Pokemon. Because when we fight trainers like this, everybody has at least two Pokemon. Big bad guys like Wally have six, so we get so much more EXP than we normally do. Uh, should I stay in? Should I swap? Let's give Quill some more screen time. Let's do it. I'm still gonna go for Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace is so strong. Ooh, Hyper Voice. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, good. Good. I was thinking of, like, Pixelate Sylveon for some reason. I was thinking it was gonna be super effective, because that's what I usually normally see do Hyper Voice. But right now we're getting kind of low on health, so I do want to swap out. Let's try Ancient. Let's bring out Ancient. Ancient, you know, has the Lava Plume, which I think might do enough to take this thing out. I want to give the rest of the guys some chance to shine, but oh, it's got rest. It's gonna be snoozing on me. 
All right, so Lava Plume does all right. I think I'm going to try to Swagger it so it gets confused. This is its last resting turn, so I think Swagger might help. It'll probably hurt itself. Hyper Voice is a special attacking move, so even if it chooses to go for Hyper Voice again, this Swagger isn't going to benefit it. Swagger is one of those moves where you got to be careful with it when you use it because you don't want to raise their attack and have them benefit off of that. But yeah, look at that. That really paid off there because we took zero damage and it did a lot of damage to itself and bada bing, bada boom, that thing is out of this room. So let's keep going with Ancients. And the final Pokemon, wait, is this the final Pokemon? I'm not sure, but it, Eridos. No, it's not the final Pokemon. But I'm glad to be in against this thing because we have the Lava Plume and it's going to be charging up something. I don't know what it's gonna be charging up using those back hind legs or stingers. I'm not sure what those things are called on Ariados' like booty over there, but it's charging up something. And nice, we get the burn. So that would not have been a two-hit KO, but I think now it will be. Assuming that charge just raises special defense up way too high where we're doing like nothing to it. This is super effective, but it's still not doing so much. I don't really think Ariados is that bulky of a Pokemon. Ooh, it's just living. But we have Ice Shard. Priority move for the win, and we're going to go for that, and that'll take out this Ariados no problem. There we go. My team is so good. Even the ones that, like, you know, are kind of on the fence right now, like uh, Ancients, they're putting in a lot of work on this battle. And the final Pokemon is going to be Litwick, the good old candle Pokemon. Now, should I stay in against this thing? I don't really have anything for it, so I think I'm going to swap out. Yeah, we're bringing out Peggy for this fight. Peggy can take those fire moves from Litwick all day long and give it a nice two-wit KO with the Rock Smash. All right, Peggy, enough with the games. Let's drop a rock on this candle. Poke tips. All of us, people and Pokemon, every living thing on this planet, everything's going to die? Well, that was kind of sad coming from Wally. Anyway, I ran back to the Pokemon Center to heal up my team a little bit. I'm also bringing back Drax for this episode. Put away Hawkeye, because Hawkeye is just way too high leveled. Hawkeye and Peggy, you know, both insanely high leveled. I want to give some of the other guys a chance to shine. And speaking of other guys and chances to shine, we're going to swap Ka uh, Karen. That's her name. Karen up to the front of the team. And we're going to try to get some experience for Karen from the gym trainers in the gym. And we definitely need to evolve Karen, because, you know, we can't really use a cascoon in these battles. My electric soul. It'll shatter your dreams whole! Whoa, yeah! Whoa, yeah, indeed! Look at those rhymes coming from Secret Base Trainer Kirk! Kirk, like, from Star Trek. Fun fact, I've never seen anything Star Trek related, never watched any of the Star Trek movies, never seen the show, anything like that, but I think I would like it. You know, I'm really big in the Star Wars, really big in the science fiction in general. I just never gave it a chance. But what we are gonna do is give Drax a chance, because Drax has been away for a while. I think Drax is gonna do really well up against this Marowak, but let's find out. Hopefully it doesn't have, like, Brave Bird or something. Ooh, Thunder Punch. Going for the kill, and wait a second. Thunder Punch? Why would he use his bone to punch me? That's a very weird animation. It doesn't really fly by me. You know, normally punches, they go bop, 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 instead of... That's what I would think. Oh, oh, okay. I thought that said drill, a uh, horn drill for a second, not drill run. That wouldn't be too fun. That definitely would not be too fun. But yeah, let's storm throw and get this Marowak out of here. Bye bye, Marowak. Oh, I've seen so many Marowak lately from glitching around the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Such a weird, bizarre Pokemon. Ooh, we're gonna get Hammer Arm? Now that's a very strong move. I think we'll get rid of Constrict there. Because what? Constrict is really, really weak. And Hammer, -ong, hammer <laughs> Arm is pretty strong. Hammer Arm. Hammer Arm. And yay, Karen's level 11. Karen should be evolving after this battle. And Arceus! Whoa! Look at that guy. Shadow Arceus over there. All the Shadow Pokemon lately. Last episode was the Shadow Mega Rayquaza. Now we're seeing Shadow Arceus. And hmm... What type is this Shadow Arceus? I'm assuming that it's still going to be normal type, unless it's holding one of the plates, but it would have a really, really low chance of holding a plate. Also, it probably doesn't even have the multi-type ability, so it's got to still be normal type. Alright, let's try out our brand new Hammer Arm and Light of Ruin. What is that? What is this move? Okay, oh! Oh, no! Trax, no! What was that? Light of Ruin, I don't even know what that move is. No! No, we just 
brought back Drax! And now Drax is dead! No, not like this! Ugh. Stupid Shadow Arceus, oh my god. Alright, I, I don't know what type of a move Light of Ruin is. I guess I don't really want to play around with an Arceus. I'd love to bring in Karen and get some more EXP for knocking this thing out, but we need somebody to take this thing out. I don't want to mess around with Quill. I don't want to mess around with Peggy. I mean, I don't want to mess around with Pepper. So we'll try bringing out uh, Peggy. And we'll go for Lava Plume. Light of Ruin. Giga Impact! This thing is a nutty move set. Oh my god. Okay, good. All right, good. I don't want to die. I don't want another Pokemon dead from this stupid Shadow Arceus thing. And yes, 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 we got the burn on this thing. Burn, baby, burn. Let's get rid of this Arceus once and for all. And, huh, this is a little risky. This is a little risky, but we know it's going to rest this turn. We know it's going to rest this turn. So I kind of want to bring Karen out to get some EXP, and then who- Okay, this is what I'll do. This is what I'll do. I'm gonna swap Karen out into this. Now, we know there's no way in the world that this Shadow Arceus can hurt us this turn. No way in the world. And next turn, it's gonna die no matter what. So I'm gonna swap Karen out right now, because if we stay Karen- If we keep Karen in here, Karen is dead. And then I'll bring out Ancient here. Ancient's at full health. I can't see this thing one-shotting me with anything. Giga Impact is strong, but it's not that strong, right? Light of Ruin again. What type is this move? I guess Fairy. It looks like a Fairy move, and this is gonna do nothing to Ancient. Yeah, it must be a Fairy move, because it was super effective against Drax. Rest in peace, Drax. But yeah, now everybody gets a lot of EXP. That's nice, I guess. But at what cost? Hmm. Hmm. Yay, level 13. Do we get to 14? Yes! That's something. That's definitely something. And I guess Karen is gonna be evolving now. This is... Ugh, I should be a lot happier right now to see Karen evolve, but losing Drax... You guys don't understand how much I liked Drax. Drax was such a good Pokémon. Really helped me out early on in the run with Dark Void and everything, with all those Pokémon that I was able to catch by putting it to sleep. And just losing Drax like that, when I thought Drax was safe. I really wanted to use Hammer Arm, but I guess we never really got that shot. So let's check out Karen. Karen has the ability Solar Power now, which boosts the special attack stat in Sunny Weather, but the HP decreases, and knows Leech Life and Body Slam. Can Karen learn any TMs? Nope, and it looks like Karen can't learn any TMs, so let's go back to the center. Well, Drax, I guess if you have to go, going down to a Shadow Arceus is not a bad way. But I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Rest in peace. And I guess in his place, I'm gonna bring back, uh, Bucky for now. We're gonna try Bucky out. We could always bring back Hawkeye later if I get, like, cold feet and wanna use a really powerful Pokemon. But for now, I wanna mix things up. I wanna use Bucky, because we just caught Bucky not too long ago. I think it's time to give Bucky a chance. And it looks like we have to battle this trainer, too. So I guess I'm still leading off with Karen. This gym's got puzzles. Isn't it fun? Yes, it is. And I love your encounter music, and I still love this battle music. It's so nice. Expert Ben with the Whalmer. The big whale. And we're gonna send out Karen. Should I use Karen in this battle? Level 14 versus level 18, and our moveset's kind of trash. Hmm. I'm gonna say no. We're gonna swap out into something else. We'll try out... I think Quill will honestly be fine here. I want to use Karen, and we're probably gonna get enough EXP from this battle to level uh, Karen up to like level 15, so we should be okay. And it's going for Dive, that's a little bit of a weird move. And wait, Moody, raising the speed, lowering the defense. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Moody and Dive, that's a really, really nice combination. <laughs> that's an annoying strategy. I think Moody is like banned in uh, competitive Pokemon battling because of how random it is. And nice, now you're getting the critical hit on me too. But let's just- Oh wow! We almost took this thing out! Looks like Moody's not gonna matter much, matter much here. Special attack and lowering the attack. That's really good, because dive is a physical move. So if it goes for dive again, which it is gonna do, that's fine. Because you just lowered your attack. Haha! <laughs> Moody's backfiring on you. Defense, lowering special defense. So now we should be able to knock this thing out with no problem with Aerial Ace. It's gonna go for dive, it's gonna hit us for not much damage at all. And let's get rid of this stupid little whale. 
You know, I like to at first, but then you start going for Moody. At least it didn't get a bunch of evasion boosts. Not like it really would have mattered, because Aerial Ace never misses. And ooh, Hoot Hoot. Oh, I love Hoot Hoot. Such a cute little Pokemon. I got so happy when I saw Hoot Hoot in the Sword and Shield trailer, because Hoot Hoot always been one of my favorites ever since I saw it in Generation 2 in Iron Barbs. Hopefully that doesn't backfire if this thing has a strong move. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't lose two Pokemon here. Thank you for not killing me. Thank you. I am so glad you are weak. Because if this Hoot Hoot was like a Noctowl, Quill would probably be dead there. Hoot Hoot with Wild Charge. We've seen it all today, guys. We've seen it all. Oh, no, no. Oh, wait. Don't kill me. Oh, my God. That is way, way, way too close for comfort. Way too close for comfort. We almost lost Quill there. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, we're getting something. The Shed Shell. Ugh. Oh, these battles in this gym. They're really scaring me. Oh, wait. Do we have to battle you? I don't want to battle you. Can we skip you somehow? Yes. Yes, we can. All right. Let's go here. And... Does this open up the puzzle of Watson? I, I'm not sure. How about this way? Yeah, that looks like it's straight, but we're gonna have to go to Watson. Should I heal before or after this battle? I'm more than likely to go heal up after this battle, so let's just jump into this battle with this guy. Ooh, and the Team Aqua encounter theme is about time! I trained other Watson. There ain't no way I'd lose easily. Is Watson uh, training Team Aqua Grunts now? It looks like he is. Maybe Watson is a Team Aqua member. Team Aqua Sean with the Ditto. But this is going to be a different Ditto. Because, you know, moves are randomized, so I don't think this Ditto is going to be using Transform. And it's level 16 versus us at level 14. So you know what? Let's try this out. Let's go for Body Slam. And listen to that amazing music there. The Game Boy Advance Team Aqua theme. I remember changing this a long time ago. And I've been waiting so long to hear this. So it's about time. But yeah. Body Slam from Karen is doing nothing right now. It is doing absolutely nothing. At least we got the Paralyzed, though. The Paralysis and Electro Whip. Is this going to do a lot to me? No, it's going to do nothing to me, too. Where was getting lowered here? My speed? That's fine. It's Paralyzed, so either way, it's going to be doing nothing. I think Karen might be able to win this battle. Let's go. Let's do it. Nice. Fully Paralyzed. Come on, Karen. Win your first battle. We can beat Team Aqua's Ditto. We can do this. And if you win, you get a level 2. Nice! Nice, nice, nice! All the paralysis! I'm loving this! Come on, take it out! Just a slither of health left. Nice! An Electro Web that's gonna do nothing. Karen is in the clear here! This is Karen's battle! Let's give it the bad... Let's give it this disrespect. Let's go for Leech Life. Let's get some health back. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Now, unfortunately, in this generation, Leech Life is really, really weak. They buffed it up in Generation 7 to be a very strong move, but this is Generation 6, so it only has, like, what, 20 base power and Rock Tomb? This is such a bizarre moveset for a Dustox, and Frostlass. Should I try it? Rock Tomb is going to be super effective, but I'm kind of scared of it going for something strong. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got to give it... We got to give it a shot. And Trick or Treat, what does this do? Give me the Ghost type? I think so, right? Yeah, the ghost type was added to Karen, so I'm definitely swapping out now. I am definitely swapping out now. Look, that was super effective, but it did nothing. Weak armor, it's lowering the defense and raising the speed. Okay, so that kind of nullified my Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb made it slower, but then this boosted it right back up. And I think in this situation right now, the only Pokemon I could send out is Peggy. Normally, I would send out Quill in this situation, but Quill is sitting on, what, like, 4 HP right now? So, it wouldn't really be a good idea to bring Quill out. Plus, we do have, uh, fire moves and rock moves on this Pokemon, so we'll be fine here. We should definitely be able to take this thing out pretty easily. Nice, doing so much damage. So much, just a little bit more, and I think Peggy might actually get a level out of this, too. Come on, let's beat this Team Aqua Grunt. You got this, Peggy, come on, nice! Beat the Frostlass. Oh, I love Frostlass. Such a cool design. I was so happy back when Gen 4 came out and I saw this Pokemon. And wow, we finally get a water move! Hydro Pump! Too bad it's not Waterfall. I would really prefer Waterfall on this Pokemon, but you know what? It's about time that we get something water type on Peggy. So we're gonna forget Tailwind and we're gonna learn Hydro Pump. Oh, very well deserved. And Karen gets the level 16. Nice. Defeated Team Aqua Sean. Unplugged and turned off.
Oh no, I ran into this by accident. I was trying to go for the red thing, but my finger slipped, so I guess we're gonna battle you. With my charm and my Pokemon's moves, you'll be shocked. Yeah, trust me, I'm shocked right now. Shocked that I'm battling you, Pokemon Breeder Vivian, with the Paris. Alright, that's nothing bad at all. Nothing bad at all. What level is this Paris gonna be? We gotta make really quick work of you, because I was all ready to go battle Watson. And wow, this thing's at level 20? Seeing this thing at level 20 is really making me wonder what level Watson's Pokemon are going to be at. I don't know. I didn't look it up, but I'm assuming they're going to be somewhere around the same level as us. So let's just go for Lava Plume. Ooh, knock off. Ooh, wow! Wow, that did a lot of damage. This is just a Paris! This is just a Paris! That thing almost knocked me out! Well, looks like I have to go back to the center again after doing this battle. I was really trying to not do that, but whatever, and Carablast. This thing is the buggy? The buggo? Alright, so yeah, we're gonna swap out here. Just in case it goes for like X Scissor, I don't wanna die. Ooh, yeah, U turn. That would have more than likely killed me because it's super effective, and look how much that did the quill. That definitely would have killed Ancient, so I'm glad that I swapped out there. Let's just go for Aerial Ace and bye bye Carablast. Now we have to go heal again. Alright, so we're all healed up and we should be ready for Watson now. This is the team I'm gonna go into the fight with. I think we'll be okay, you know? Karen might be able to do some battles now. Not sure, but if Karen can't, we have Quill, we have Pepper, we have Ancient, and Peggy is all the way up at level 25. Peggy is really high leveled. Also, I wanna check out Bucky. I'm not really sure what Bucky has. Oh wow, Levitate? So it's immune to ground type moves. That's actually really good to know. It has Mirror Move, Psy Wave, Trick or Treat, and Rock Throw. So yeah, not gonna be a heavy hitter. Uh, not gonna be a heavy hitter in this fight, but it'll definitely be something. So I think I have the Expert Belt and another like decent battling item. So let's give them to my Pokemon. Scope Lens for critical hits. So let's see who could use some critical hits. Let's give it to Ancient. Ancient will have the critical hits and. Uh, you know what? Karen will give you the Expert Belt, just in case he has some super effective moves. I think I'll start off the battle with, uh, Karen. Let's do that. Let's do that. And what is that behind Watson? That kind of looks like the Death Star from Star Wars, does it not? Because, like, look, you can see the little white spot that looks like the little, uh, part where they shoot the laser out of the Death Star. I don't know. Maybe Watson is, like, an evil guy. I was thinking that Watson was part of Team Aqua because that grunt we just battled before was saying that Watson trained them, but now, with the Death Star behind Watson, let's find out. And ooh, I ain't laughing one bit, punk. Maybe Watson is. You discovered a small cave. It's a machine that controls lasers. That's it. That's it. That's the Death Star. Watson is Darth Vader. Jeremiah? Who's Jeremiah? I don't know. All I know is we have to stop Watson right now because Watson is evil. Watson is gonna blow up the world if we don't stop him in this battle. So this is more than just a battle of the badge. This is a battle for the fate of humanity. So let's go ahead and do this. And oh, of course you have to lead off with the Mantis. But the good thing is, going into this battle against Mantis, Karen actually does have a move that'll be pretty decent here. So let's go for Rock Tomb. I think this is gonna be quad effective, but let's hope Blizzard doesn't do too much to me. Uh, yeah, it's not doing way too much at all. Very, very nice. So this should be quad super effective, and it's still doing, like, nothing. That's really, really sad. I thought we were gonna be able to do some more. Let's try it again. Just because I really want to use Karen. I think this is gonna be Karen's, like, only chance in this battle. Especially if it starts taking some more damage, but we'll see. It would be nice if that Blizzard missed, but I guess not. Alright, yeah. Karen... We gotta swap Karen out here, because if Blizzard hits again, Karen is dead. As much as I want to use Karen, it's not really gonna work out too well here. So I guess we'll have to swap in Ancients. I really wanted to switch in Quill just for that super effective Aerial Ace, but Blizzard would hit us for super effective damage too. And now it misses! Now when I switch out is when it misses. You could have done that last turn and Karen could have taken you out all by herself, but no! No, you have to be that way, Cricketune. Yeah, get your little, little, little whoop self out of here. Nah, uh But yay, we get to level 17 off of that, and we learn Heal Pulse. Uh, I think that's more, that's better in double battles. And here comes Heatran. Watson has a Heatran. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, that's gonna force me to swap out, definitely. What do I have that can deal with a Heatran? I think I'm gonna swap in a Pepper here. I think Pepper will be fine, because, you know, if it, is, if it goes for a Steel move or a Fire move, we'll resist it. Oh, but it could go for Toxic. It can definitely go for Toxic, and that's something I'm not liking too much, because that's going to add up to a lot of damage over time. 
So Pepper's kind of limited on how much we could use her in this battle. Ooh, we have Horn Drill, and it's so tempting to go for it. But I think I'm just going to go for Brick Break straight up. Will that be a two-hit KO? I hope so. Oh, it's going to be a three-hit KO and Vital Throw. Ugh. All right, it's not doing that much. Ooh, thank you so much, Heatran. You just turned that not two-hit KO into a two-hit KO. Now, please do that again. Go for Vital Throw again and hurt yourself with my rough skin, and then we'll knock you out here. Oh, wait, wow. Nice, there we go. Really, really good. We made that we made that Heatran look like nothing. I'm proud of you, Pepper. I really am. All right, wow. We're almost level 22 from that, but Ancient is getting level 22. Everybody's getting lots of levels here. But now that toxic damage is really adding up. And Ivasaur, all right, yeah, we're definitely swapping out here. We're not fighting against this Ivasaur, especially with this toxic damage. But you know what? You know who can take this out? Quill. Let's bring out the big bad Quill. All right, buddy, come on out. And Psycho Boost, ooh, nice. Doesn't affect us at all. I think Aerial Ace is definitely going to one-shot this thing. Such a strong move on this. Oh, wait, no, I guess we're wrong. And Scald. That's so weird seeing Ivasaur use Scald. Hey, at least it didn't burn us. And yeah, we'll definitely go for Flame Charge. Oh, Super Potion. Wasn't expecting that. But yeah, that makes sense. If everybody's gonna have potions, it'll definitely be a Gym Leader like Watson. Yeah, at least we'll get a nice little speed boost now. And wow, that does so, so much. You know what? Let's just do it again. Let's just do it again. Why not? Get the plus two speed and get rid of this silly little Ivasaur. Bye-bye. Get your Flower Petal self out of here. All right, so we're almost done with this battle. Only two more Pokemon to go. Can they be worse than that Heatran? Can they? I don't know. We already saw a Shadow Arceus this episode, so I don't know what else they could possibly send out. Oh wait, three more Pokemon to go. I guess I'm crazy. So let's just go for Aerial Ace. This thing might have a strong Fairy-type move, but we'll find out soon, won't we? Defense, another Pokemon with weak armor. And Bulk Up. What are you trying to do here? You just lowered your defense, now you're raising it back up. I'm very confused with your strategy here. Hopefully we can get rid of it before it does something crazy. Yeah, it keeps raising its speed. Now this now this is why it's really important for us to have those speed boosts with um, Flame Charge and everything. So it looks like its end game is going to be going for Bounce. And that might be a strong move. Yeah, it's, we're going to be slower. Oh wait, wow, we dodged it? Alright. Alright, this battle is going really, really well for us. Aerial Ace and Bye Bye Togetic. Is it Togetic or Togetic? I don't know. And Bronzor. Alright, level 23 Bronzor. So yeah, it's a lot higher level than Quill, but we have moves to handle. We can go for Flame Charge or Assurance. I think Assurance can be a lot better because we get the same type of attack bonus. This really reminds me of my playthroughs of Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. It seemed like every person in Team Galactic had a Bronzor, and later on in the game they all had Bronzong. This is really throwing me back to Gen 4. I should play through a Gen 4 game sometime soon. I really like that generation. All right, and final Pokemon is a Shroomish. Seriously, that's your last Pokemon, Watson? Well, I guess this was an easy, ba easy battle. Very easy battle, and boom! We saved the world and defeated the gym leader, Watson. Very nice. Wahaha! Fine, I lost. Hello! This is the Pretty Petal Flower Shop, spreading flowers throughout the world? What? I'm so confused. I'm really, really confused. But yay, we get ourselves the Dynamo Badge. People call me the hipster. It's a true fact that there's no other man hip is my hipness. <laughs> what? Because if there was such a rad guy, everyone would go gaga over him. If you defeat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Well, we just beat you. Please take up the challenge and we get TM72 Heavy Slam. Well, my friends, that's going to wrap up this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this craziness and the crazy text. And my friends, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one very soon. Take care and have a great day.